Hi, this is Mike. I'm going to say a few things and then shut up so you can hear the car for the rest of the video. First off, I tried to drive on different roads conditions so you can get an idea of the noise levels. However, South Carolina seems to have the roughest roads in the nation, it seems like. On top of that, my microphones are very sensitive so the road noise sounds louder in the video than it actually was in person. The laminated acoustic glass helped considerably to control regular outside noise, however, and wind noise, too. I, I engaged sport mode several times, however, I couldn't tell much of a difference. The steering, acceleration, and the little engine roar, uh, were, they're were always about the same, but they're always awesome. There wasn't an, you know, it wasn't like I, they needed to be better. They were always spot on either way. The best part of the test drive, to me, well, besides the 300 horsepower engine, uh, was how the Xtronic CVT handled all that power. Since the transmission does have doesn't have fixed gear ratios, it instantly found the perfect gear ratio to match the power band of the engine. It was awesome. The CVT system, to me, just really found those gears right when it seemed like it needed it. Uh, and also, since this car was new, I couldn't really race it or anything, so it didn't really test this particular feature. But it does have a G4 sensor that can tell if you're cornering fast, and it keeps the RPMs high even if you slow down a little bit in the corner. And then that way you can get back up to speed right after the corner. You can just you know go right back into it. Um, the four-wheel vented disc brakes were perfectly smooth. They weren't too grabby. Uh, they had plenty of stopping power, didn't, you know, have any kind of, um, you know, it just felt perfect to me. Uh, so check out the video, you know, everything else in the video is just raw footage, so let me know what you think.